How you doing guys? Phil here from the Content Academy. Thank you very much for stopping in on this uh, quick periscope. If you're watching on the replay, thank you very much for taking the time out. Don't forget, even though it's a replay, if you're watching on periscope, you can still tap that screen and uh, leave us some heart, show us some love. Certainly let us know which bits of this content are resonating best with you. Today is a really quick one, as I said, I'm I just wanted to talk to you briefly about the impact that uh, social media imagery can have on uh, on your shareability, as it were. Um, how basically the images you use in your social media campaigns can impact the likelihood of your audience sharing your content. It's very, very simple and very, very quick. And just to kind of go through it and give you some, some stats, tweets with images receive 150% more retweets than tweets without images. So, I mean, straight away, 150% more retweets just by having the right images going out on your social media campaigns. And in this case, it's Twitter. So having good Twitter images to go along with your content is a real way of grabbing people's attention. Uh, Facebook posts with images, they receive 2.3 times more engagement than those without images. So again, Facebook sees a, a dramatic increase in the amount of engagement with the correct images uh, accompanying either your post or the links that you're sharing and visual content is 40 percent more likely to get shared on social media than other types of content so visual content is 40 percent more likely um, to be shared that's a massive number now of course by video visual content we're also talking about video but specifically today, I just wanted to talk about images and content with relevant images gets 90% more, 94% actually, sorry, more views than uh, content without relevant images. So it really kind of goes to show how important the correct imagery can be with your social media campaign. Um, and I suppose when you look at it realistically, when we think of our own habits on social media, I mean, how often have you been sitting on your phone with a cup of coffee or on the bus or the tube or wherever you are and you're just kind of flicking down, you know, you scroll down through your timeline on Twitter or Facebook and, you know, you see the same things popping up and then an image or a video will catch your eye and you'll stop. It's the same principle and it's the same for our followers and our potential customers and clients that we're trying to engage with on our social media platforms. So, you know realistically you want to have good images with your content now we've spoken to plenty of online business owners and marketers and one of the the, the big things that they they say is that you know social media takes up a large portion of their time obviously promoting their content but coming up with the right images can be very very time consuming it really can be in fairness you know if you're not a graphic designer or you're not great with photoshop and stuff like that it can take some time to get the right image to go with your content um i mean there are the likes of snappa and canva which are really really good um, but one of the great features that i've just come across and a lovely bit of kit that i've been playing with over the last couple of days which you've probably noticed if you've been paying attention is a uh, relay it's relay that.com it's a great great bit of software that creates hundreds of uh, images in minutes that can be used across every platform imaginable and it'll also let you kind of go through it and select which social platform you want to use so whether it's uh, instagram facebook youtube twitter it'll do banner images for websites emails absolutely anything and everything you put promotional articles even for um for webinars as well so you can kind of put in as much as you like so if you head over to relay that dot com and sign up there is a 14 day free trial now it is that good that it is a paid service but there is a 14 day free trial but after the 12 after the 14 days it's 12 dollars a month and i do think it is worth paying having used it um over the last number of days it really is worth using and um, it does take a little bit of setup i mean there's quite a a few tabs at the top that you need to fill in uh, with a lot of images that it requests so there's a number of background images portrait images uh, podcast images portrait images logos book images so on and so forth but you don't necessarily have to fill all of those in now if you want to create 
branded images that are all the same to go across a number of platforms well then you'll have to kind of put in a good portion of images in there um, so they, they, they will look similar and then there's some information that you need to put in so you can put in like for instance with our, our podcast we like to pull out quotes from the podcast with images from our guests so I can put in quotes in the, in the text box that are provided and those those quotes will automatically populate for me I can put in our Twitter handle any hashtags we're using um, a slogan a tagline even just one word if I wanted or a date and time and um, if I wanted to promote a specific event that was going on whether it was a webinar or or a blab or, or again if I wanted to promote a periscope that I might be doing you can put all that information in and it's really really good um, for creating images and um, that are not only branded but are also look great with very little of having to do yourself in terms of design so what you do is you fill in all your all your images and all the text and then you click on layouts up the top right hand side and that'll show you a number of layouts there's hundreds in there and once you kind of find one you like down the bottom of the image then there's like a little wrench like a tool and um, if you click on that it'll also let you go in and edit them so you can change the font the text color and um, the images if you want to change the images maybe the image you have in there doesn't look great or because you filled in put in so many images at the start you can swap and change them and you can edit them and you can even put filters on some of the images within the art within the image itself uh, some of the photos should i say within the image itself um, and put filters on them just like you would on instagram so it's a really really great bit of kit in, in terms of creating images that are consistent with your brand and it doesn't take that long even if you don't have a lot of images um, to fill in at the start if you fill in the information you want as in maybe it's just your twitter handle and a slogan that you want to put in in your website url what you can do is you can scroll down the left hand side and, and all, all the way along it'll actually have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube but it'll also have sizes like wide, tall, um, book images, podcast images and so on. If you just select the one you want, so if you're not creating images for every platform, it's one specific platform. So if we say for instance we wanted to create an Instagram picture to go out uh, we can easily select Instagram and it'll throw up a number of different sizes and layouts now they're all blank because you may not have put images in so you select the layout you want and then just fill in images to go with that layout so you don't have to have I think it's if my memory serves me correct up to 10 images you can put in and some logos and different bits and bobs but you don't need to have that you can actually just select right I want an Instagram image I am um, go through their layout pick the one you want and then just put in the required images that that layout needs so it could be just a background image and maybe one other small logo um, and that could be that it could be two small images one large background image and maybe your company logo or your website logo and maybe a twitter handle or a quote it, it's very very simple to do and it can all be edited as i said it'll give you options to edit the the text color the text font you can even turn some of the features off any of the layout features that are on you can actually turn them off when you go into their tools so if it for instance might have a background image with a, a screen over it to make the text a, a darker screen to make the text uh, easier to read you can turn the screen off if you if your image behind is dark enough and you feel you don't need it alternatively there is some other layouts that will have various little lines and filters and boxes in them some of them have a call to action box in them which is great as well but you can turn that off or you can change what the call to action is so instead of click here it could be tap to find out more if it's going on instagram and stuff like that so it really is customizable but at the same time if you fill out all the requested information all of the images look like they've been branded together and um, they're very very similar and you can just go in and tweak them and change them around and it really is a great way of creating hundreds and there is hundreds of images it will create for you based off five minutes probably if you have to go and find some images um, to use within the campaign but it's really really simple there is like i said canva and snap and now i've used canva as well i am a big fan of canva it is very very simple and very very easy and we've used it to create some of our uh, images that we use for quotes for the podcast as well in the past unfortunately for canva uh relay that is certainly going to take over that because i can create multiple images at the same time for every platform we're currently participating in and that's absolutely massive 
I can even create and tweak the images. So if I want to put out five or six tweets with the same link, with the same topic, I can just slightly um, change the wording of the tweet, but I've already got plenty of images there to make sure that I'm not putting out the same image every time. So I'm not too worried if someone sees this, the me promoting the same article. The body copy will be slightly different. The link, okay, is going to be the same, but the images will be completely different. So what might catch the eye of one person on one tweet may not catch the eye of, of another person. However, when I retweet that with a different image and slightly different body copy, I'm giving myself another chance to get a hold of that person who perhaps flipped past the first time I promoted it. And it's the same with Facebook. Again, because Facebook's timeline doesn't move as quickly as Twitter's, as we can all attest to, I don't feel like I'm bombarding my audience with the same message over and over again because I've got multiple images with different body copy. The link is always going to be the same because you want to direct them back to that article. But it's very, very simple and very, very easy to use. Now, it's hard for me kind of to, to describe the process on Periscope look with uh, RelayThat.com. Relay um, so I really do suggest you go and check that out. Now, if you want to see what I'm talking about, if you head over to content.academy forward slash blog, you'll see the article there. Um, and it, it's it's entitled Make Powerful Social Media Images uh, in Minutes. And you'll see it there. And it'll just it's just a quick article talking about Relay That. And also, I've given you some images that I've created in minutes around a previous article I wrote. So I wrote an article recently on, recently on how to automate Twitter using if this, then that. And while I was doing that, these are some of the images that I've put in this article to show you the amount of them that I was able to create of inputting information only once. So certainly go over and check out Relay That. Um, there's also a video on that article from the good people at Relay That showing you everything that you can do with their nifty bit of kit. So again, have a look at that. It's a 14 day trial, as I said, so I do recommend you go and play around with it. I must point out, this there's no affiliate links. I'm not getting paid anything to promote this. It's not like that. It genuinely is just a piece of kit that I think people should be aware of and should be using, especially if you're under pressure for time. And solopreneurs, you know, small businesses, time is everything. We There is only 24 hours in the day for all of us after all. So this is a great way of creating multiple images from as many platforms as you can think of um but very very easily and they, they look fantastic it's far better i think than anything i'd be able to create on my own um using some of the um some of the softwares that are out there like photoshop and stuff i'm just not that proficient in them and i don't have time to learn um so this is a great way for me to get around that and be able to uh to make the most of it but listen that's really it from me Whoop! Oh, as my phone goes there you go that's what happens when you're uh when your phone holder decides it doesn't want to stay where you stuck it. So yeah, listen, that's it for me for today. Um, 30 day challenge is still very much in progress uh, between myself and Paul. We've been doing a blog a day. You can check out more of those blogs at content.academy. Um, again, if you're watching on the replay, thank you very much for stopping by and checking this out. Please tap the screen if any of this information has been useful to you today. Um, we really do appreciate you checking this out. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, any comments under here would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you are watching on YouTube, you'll find the link to the article I'm talking about in the description box below. So go ahead and click that and you can check out everything I've been talking about here today. But uh, until next time, folks, thank you very much for stopping by and uh, we'll catch you again soon. All the best.